In this video, I am going to show you how to create a classic YouTube intro using Canva. And the process is actually very simple. Just come over to canva.com. If you don't have a Canva account yet, just go ahead and sign up for free. You can do everything that I'm going to show you here using the free version of Canva. So once you are here inside Canva, just come over to templates and then use this search box to search for YouTube intro. And what you want to do is to find a template that match the style you want. And just by dragging your mouse over a particular template, you are going to see a quick preview of what that intro will look like. So what I'm going to do right now is to pick a very simple template, maybe this. This is a very popular intro style on YouTube, so I'm going to click on it. If you like this template, you can just go ahead and click customize this template to start working on it. But if you want to see more options down here, you'll find other templates that are similar to the one that you have right here. Let's say maybe if I prefer this, I can just click on it and then click customize this template. This is a vlog style intro. That means if you are creating vlogs, this template is perfect for you. That's why when picking the template, you want to look for templates that relate to what you do. Let's say if you're a tech channel, you want to look for a tech related template, or maybe if you create tutorials, you want to look for a template that will match your channel as well. But I'm going to work with this. So the first thing I'm going to do is to replace these videos with my own videos. So I'll come over to uploads, then go ahead and upload the videos I want to use right here on Canva. So these are the videos I need for my intro. Then I'll just go ahead and bring in the first video, drag it into the first frame. Also repeat the same process for the second video and then just repeat the same process for the third frame. And then for this part, I'll just drag in my own video and maybe just flip it horizontally. So it has the same direction as the video that was here originally. And I can just adjust what I have. This looks good. And then aside from replacing the videos, we can also play around with the colors and the text. For instance, you probably want the color of this shape to match the color and the style of your brand. So I'm going to change this color to something different. And to do that, select the shape and then click on color. Select the color that you would like to use. Let's say I'm going to work with this and I'll move on to the next page, change the background color as well to match the color that we are currently using. And then for the third page. And one more thing I need to fix is the duration of each page. You want your YouTube intro to be very short Maybe something between five to 10 seconds will do, not more than 15 seconds usually. But you notice that this first page is already longer than 15 seconds. So I'll need to reduce the duration and you can easily do that by just trimming down the length of the page. Let's say I'm going to use 3.5 seconds for the first page. I think 2.5 seconds is good for a second page. And then the third page, I'm going to trim it down to maybe just three seconds I think that will do. So if we try to play this right now, you see this all have. Maybe I'm going to remove this text and the shape, probably because it does not apply to my own content. Here we'll have episode 43. Maybe if this is the first episode on my channel, you might want to adjust it to maybe episode one, depending on what you're actually working on. And then another thing I want to do is to add some kind of transition between each page. So if you bring your cursor between two pages, you are going to see this transition option. So click on it. And if you just hover your cursor on the transition, you get a preview of what it will actually look like. So I'm going to pick dissolve for each of them and you can adjust the duration. And then I'm going to repeat the same process for this part. And now um, this will have. This is looking good, but we can make it more engaging and more interesting by adding a background music. And for the background music, you can get your sound from any platform of your choice, but I'm going to use YouTube audio library for this. YouTube audio library is completely free and then it is specifically made for YouTube creators. So you can come over here, get any music you like without worrying 
about copyright strikes. And to find YouTube audio library, just go to your YouTube studio and then you are going to see this audio library option down here on the menu. And here I'm going to look for something with good beats that I can use on my intro. So let's see. <laughs> I think this will do. So I'll just go ahead and download it. Now let's go back to Canva, upload the audio file we just downloaded. Then I can just add it to my intro. And now let's play through this and see what we have. I'm going to adjust the audio track a little bit. You can just double click and then that'll allow you to just adjust the sound because you want the beat to match what's actually going on in the video. So let me see what this will sound like now. I think this looks good, but feel free to play around till you get what you want. Let's say if you want to change text, you want to use a different text, you can easily customize the text, just select it, and then you can type in whatever you want. On the next page, let's say maybe if I want to use welcome to my channel, instead of welcome to my vlog, I can easily do that. And once you are done making all the customizations you need to make, the next step is to export this. So I'll just change the name to my YouTube intro and then click on share. Click on download for the file type. Make sure it is set to MP4 quality. You can select the quality you want, but I'll just keep it at 1080p and then select all pages. And once you have everything in place, just go ahead and click on download. And as simple as that, you have a nice intro that you can use in your YouTube videos.